Hello and it's lovely to be back with you and I'm looking at senses today. James talks about our senses and he says we should be quick to hear, slow to speak and slow to anger. Oh, did that make you feel a bit funny inside at the times when you've done exactly the opposite? It certainly did me. Much too quick to say things. And words are just as meaningful today as they were when they were written all those years ago by him. And he asks us to do several different things. He asks us to listen, not to hear, but to truly listen. And for many of us, that's a bit of a difficult task. I mean, how often do we truly take time out of our busy and noise filled days to listen to others without actually thinking about something else we want to do ourselves? And more importantly, of course, how often do we do that with God? Secondly, James says we've got to be slow to speak. Have you ever been in a conversation where somebody's saying something and you just can't wait to say what you think or somebody else has done the opposite to you and you think, oh, hang on a minute, let me just finish. But you may think your opinion is more important than mine and it probably is. Well, we all do that from time to time, don't we? Thirdly, James asks us to be slow to anger. Uh, that's a bit of a tough one sometimes, isn't it? Despite the many blessings that God gives to us, we do harbour a lot of anger. And especially at the moment, of course, with the pandemic, we seem to be angry all the time at various things. Why isn't he wearing a face mask? Why isn't she blizzing and all that sort of stuff as we go out? Life is just fraught with that, isn't it, really? It's very easy to get angry very, very quickly, I find, these days. And many of you know, oh, I didn't until I looked it up, that when we get angry, and I'm going to have to read this word for word because it's very science, here's the science bit. Uh, when we're interacting with others, our brain responds to an alarm system referred to as, here we go, diffuse physiological arousal, which is DPA. And that results apparently in a kind of tunnel vision and tunnel hearing. Have you ever been in a heated argument with somebody and you can't understand why they're so illogical? Well, that's because of this DPA. Our brains apparently shut off and we're not able to listen and process logically. So we need to take a deep breath, relax and reflect and put ourselves in the right frame of mind and listen to others. And sometimes we need to do that with God, don't we? Have you been angry with God lately? I've got angry with him a few times during this pandemic for various reasons. And that's when I have to stop and take a step back. Now, as difficult as these things are, here's something else to think about, which is even more challenging. James says that we must not only be hearers, use those two things each side of our heads, but importantly, we've got to be, no, not speakers, but doers. Blessed are those who have a vision and the opportunity to act and to do things. And that's you and me. Now, we may not have the opportunity all the time to help afflicted orphans and widows on a daily basis, but we can take measures to advocate and care for those most in need. That's the poor and those with medical or mental health problems, especially at this time, and those who are discriminated against. So as we proceed with our day, I hope we can all make an effort to truly listen not only to each other, but to God, and then become doers by following his word. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, you gave us two ears and one mouth, and quite often we use those in completely contradictory proportion. You also gave us two hands to do things with. We pray that you will help us to react less quickly, to stop and to think and to listen and to reflect to be slow to anger, but quick to do good, especially in this particular awful time that we're living through. Help us to be really good neighbours. Help us to love others just as much as we love ourselves. We ask this in your name and for your sake. Amen.